All right, so as you can see, it's been a pretty miserable season here in um, Astra for me. Um, usually these are the hardest, but it's been a while since I've been down this low. Let's go take a look at the defense real quick here. My defense is actually doing pretty well, which I think might have had to do with um, part of the reason, which might have been part of the reason why um, it was so hard this this uh, this season. Um, and the difficulty came from obviously not from losing a lot of uh, defense. Uh, as you can see here, I don't have a lot of. I'm in tier 23, so I don't have a lot of points, and it has to do a lot because of uh, just failed attacks. Uh, let's go take a look at the defense. See, like the defense rating, I'm already in. I'm in like top whatever, so I'm gonna get the most out of this, which is pretty good. Um, but I think the fact that I didn't lose a lot of lift made me go into higher brackets as I went forward, and then I lost a few, and then dropped me down some brackets, and then I won defenses and brought me up some brackets again. So I don't know. Again, like the the whole ranking system is like it works in the background, and I don't know like mathematically how these things work out exactly, but I just kind of imagine that's how it's going down. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's take a look here. I have 1108. I need. 400 so I'm probably not even gonna make it into tier 24 uh, this week which you know that kind of sucks but uh, it is what it is Astra's always been um, excessively difficult for this account uh, and it's just mainly my investments like this might have been gone a lot better if uh, I think if you if anybody saw my summoning video last time I went in to try to get the um, New Year's Alphonse for the special spiral um, close counter for my uh, what's her name for Kronia uh, I didn't get that, so Kronia is a little is still like um, out of commission. Uh, let's see, go here. So I'm only gonna be able to attack once. Even if I do get the Aether Pots, this won't. Um, I won't have another attack afterwards. I'll only have 40, I think. Yeah, I'll only have 40. Um, which that, again, that kind of sucks. Uh, so this is basically the the reason I lose a lot. Is you know, for those of you who've already seen, uh, I think I've had at least one other Astra episode. Uh, no, not her. Uh, her, she's also been pretty li uh, pretty big liability. Like she doesn't offer anything. Last time went a lot better because I had uh, Bridal Micaiah. She just works wonders. Um, and I'm thinking about putting her on this season, but I, like I'd have to replace my dancer, which is already hard as it is. But yeah, anyway, um, so seeing as whether I win or lose here doesn't affect my positioning. I'm still not going to make. Um, for one, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to make 20, 27. And for two, I think if I even if I win this, I won't make it into tier 20, eh, tier 24. Um, so I kind of went with. What's this? Let's see them. I kind of went with. I kind of went with. Uh, let's you know, change up the build a little bit just to see, just for the sake of it. Um, I gave her special spiral a long time ago. It wasn't. I, Oh, I gave her a special spiral because, um, I don't remember why. Who had the special spiral? Oh, yeah, when New Year's Alphonse came out, he had close counter and special spiral. And I was like, well, special spiral sounds like something I'd like to try out, try out on Felicia. Um, obviously, I don't use it often just because uh, Vantage is usually what you want to have here instead. Um, but yeah, so that's where I got that from. Uh, that's where I got these two skills from the first time. Uh, the second time, obviously, I didn't, I didn't catch them. Um, but yeah, so I've had it on there. Just don't use it just because there's no reason to. So what I want here with was let's try to make her a little bit tankier with the sturdy blow. So she's got more defense. Um, she's got the plus five. So it's at 34 and then plus four is 38. Uh, 38 defense and 52 attack. Uh, and maybe just like tank hits and, and charge the soul. Uh, so I can just, so you can just tank better. Again, it's like that idea of like the... The CC Vantage versus just a straight up uh, tanking everything. Um, so, so let's just see how this goes. This is the first time I actually use this. I, again, I just I swapped her to this just to see, uh, you know, what it would do for me. Um, let's see. So she's here. This team actually looks pretty easy. Thunderhead Olin. Bonuses. I don't have. I don't run a lot of bonuses on on my uh, Felicia, so. I, Probably don't have to worry about that too much. Yes, yeah, so this is what I mean. Like, you get knocked down into lower brackets when you're not doing so well. So that's where I am currently. Um, I mean, I still might lose. You know, you never want to like 
I don't know. The way I look at it is you never really want to super underestimate people. Just be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to win and, and be, be done with it. I mean, you can to a large degree, but uh, that's something I generally try to subscribe to. I, I prefer to, like, respect, you know, every person you go up against as if, like, you're probably, you, you know, they're on your level anyway. Um, so, yeah, like, I don't have a whole lot of other teams. My Cronia team is just sitting here uh, just in case. Um, I don't know what this team is, why I'm missing one of my... Uh, Astro units, but all this stuff is just kind of left over. I don't even have full teams. I'll have, I'll have three. So yeah, let's just get in here and um, and do this. Uh, yeah, part of the reason I swapped her was just because, like, I mean, for one, obviously she has special spiral, but like, I, there's like never a reason to use it. So I was like, ah, you know what? Let's just throw it in there, see how it works. Um, this wouldn't be a very good test considering, like I said, um, I already down in a low bracket against people who aren't really that um, prepared. Uh, let's take a look here. They want to put you over there. I'm going to have her slowly go here. I, I don't know about any of you, but I really like... I really like the Japanese voice acting. Uh, I really wish it was like Epic 7 where we could get like a Japanese pack. Um, maybe you can. Maybe I'll have to go look into that. Um, no one's ever spoken of, like, oh, I switched mine to Japanese voices, even though they sound so... I like, I like the way they sound a lot. <laughs> oh, but yeah, anyway, I'll have to check it. I'll have to look into that. Uh, so let's... I'm going to put you here. Let's not stand there. And that's what hit me there. So let's take a look. I mean, I kind of figured that was going to happen. So let's see how this turns out uh, for me. Or I could just, well, yeah, I'll probably just like flop her down here and then go up there later. Okay. And of course, this tower here. Uh. Take a look at this. Okay, so I'll still kill her and she'll still die. So the thing about Olwyn is it relies on your opponents having um, bonuses, which is a lot more. You can control it all, a lot better. Uh, let's do. Let's hit this here. So Olwyn and her can hit uh, her, but she's fine. She's got 46 uh, res. Let's move here. Uh, she's green and she's green, so I think I'm just gonna sit her right here. Um, let's just see how this goes. Okay, see, this is why I kind of like. So this is what the plan was with um, the special spiral. Uh, I forgot to put animations. Wow, so this will be a really short episode. Um, again, <laughs> uh, I barely wanted to do this, but um, just for the sake of like consistency, right? Um, the idea was when she fires off the first soul. The special spiral will trigger. So if you let's say we in a normal like you know I go back to where it was, I attack someone, I attacked um, Naui there. So basically this is the way it was supposed to work out. So you attack, you reduce your cooldown from three to two. They attack, it's two to one. You attack again, it's uh, it's it's finished. So then they attack you next time. You have it charged. Um, when you you reduce it now by one uh, by two. So this is a one cooldown special. Since I'm not running Vantage, they're going to hit me and it's going to be max charge. I'm going to hit them back and theoretically they'll be at full health. Um, so I get the most effect off of this. Because a lot of times when you're running Noontime, if you've seen some of my other ones, um, you hit somebody with Noontime and they've got like, you know, like 10 HP left. So you only heal one life back. Sometimes, especially yeah, just because Noontime takes two charge and the, the it's like with, um, what's her name? With Boki, like the Spendthrift bow she has on, uh, resets it every time, so you can only hit it on the second hit, um, which kind of sucks. But yeah, here that, that's kind of the plan here is uh, special spiral reduce it to one, and then everybody who attacks me afterwards will attack me because I don't have vantage, and then I'll double them back, um, heal on the first one, and then on the second one, and just hopefully kill them. Um, but that's uh, that's the idea there. Um, again, it's this isn't a very good showcase of this because let's do. This isn't a very good showcase of this because this team. I'm actually kind of concerned. Let's, let's see. Let's see if she can tank it. 
Uh, let's do that there. I'll think about it. Uh, I think this one's gonna be a trap, so I'm just gonna. What is your desire? Hold off here. I'm gonna put her there. Lead away. And I'm gonna pop this. Okay, there we go. So let's see how this works. Okay, so she survived. I mean, I kind of figured she would. She's got um, a lot of speed from this, um, and as well as this. Whether it came into play there, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but you know, let's just pop these for the sake of it. I mean, he doesn't know that I don't have to pop these. Um, this is kind of why. So I put this on her mainly for the uh, attack, the speed and attack boost for like to soak chills. But, um, well, let's just put it off for the last one. To soak chills, but, um, I'll think pop this it. here. Uh, yeah, like I said, to, to soak chills and, like, the the, the dual chills and all that. Um, because I think she does have the highest. I mean, obviously she doesn't, and, well, I think now she does. Because she's the bonus unit and she's already got huge stats. But in, in general, she's going to have these for that. Uh, but she also tends to, like, if you build her like this, she tends to kill people sometimes. I mean... I'm not saying I, I like her being here. I mean, she is generally kind of useless. I'm just waiting for another Astra uh, to replace her with. Uh, but in general, like, it's nice to have these stats because, like, sometimes she'll just, like, go up on someone. She's got dragon effectiveness always on her weapon. Uh, and then there's a bunch of... Oh, she gets stats based on whatever. Um, but, like, it's just nice to have her here with these stats because she, she tends to be able to kill people like this sometimes. Um, this is like the best case scenario for her because she's like super debuffed and she's like the last unit and all that stuff. But um, yes. yeah, I mean, if, if you're asking me, I suggest like I, I would recommend Life and Death three on her just because of that. Uh, and it, it, you're like you're, she's never going to be a place where these stats matter. Uh, you really don't want her anywhere where she could get debuffed like that. Oh my gosh, and I'm actually missing the seal here. Wow, that's embarrassing. But um, I, I mean, I wouldn't have won with or without it anyway, but um, okay. it's interesting to note. Let's see if she can beat her. Alright, well I'm gonna have Felicia beat her just to take the... Uh, but like I said, uh, there, there'll be times where it's just like people running like Dumas, um, uh, like like Nowies and, and her, uh, and they'll have like dragons here and there, and sometimes like you're, you know, like Felicia doesn't get the dragon effectiveness, maybe she can't take the kill or she's doing something else somewhere, and uh, she can just kind of run into him and hit him so that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's just do that. Didn't expect that, did you? So with the soul, she heals up a lot. Um, whether or not I want to try this in a serious manner for like the next Astra season, I'll have to take a look. I have to think about it because a lot of times. Yeah, there we go. So, there'll be a lot of times where, um... So let's go to the next season. So next season is light season. Um, I have to drag one of these around with me somewhere, which is gonna suck. I might take Itsuki. Doom is kinda interesting because you can pop. Anyway, that's us for another time. Um... It's kind of weird we didn't get her for the next season. Like she's just here. Well, I think she was here for last season. I wanted to build him, but I uh, didn't really care. Cronia, I think Cronia's a little bit better. He's got a lot of interesting damage stuff. Um, oh, well. Can't look at her now. Uh, but yeah, like I said, let's go take a look at uh, Felicia here for a second. Like I said, she... Barb Shuriken, Felicia's Plate. This, this this build does sort of work, sort of theoretically almost, but um, it's just sketchy. Uh, there's a lot of times where she'll actually just like get one shot by somebody, or like especially because if you're, uh, like on Astro season, the thing that gives me the most trouble and really shouldn't give me. Uh, as much trouble as it does, but uh, generally, like, you end up fighting a lot of, um, what's her name? Thurseer, right? Thurseer is something that, like, counters her. Thurseer and who's the other one? Uh, Ophelia. So on this season, 
for some reason, yeah, this season a lot more than any other season. It's probably just because we don't get the, um, like, Light Season doesn't see a lot of magical threats, just because we don't get the, uh, I, I assume this is why, but since Air gives out a resistance bonus, uh, that's why I assume we don't get a lot of magical threats. People just realize, oh, there's people running around with uh, these heavy bonuses, so let's kind of focus on the physical spectrum. Um, so since we, we have a physical defense in Naga here, the defense boost, people focus on, on mage threats, I think, on on uh, on Astra. Um, and on top of the fact that Thersir is just a, a bonus defense unit. Um, but, yeah, so like, people like Thersir who can force doubles, like Desperation, stuff like that. Um, or people who just like, what's the other one? Um, like brave weapons, right? In general, that just double you for free. Um, who, oh, who's another one? Yeah, I faced a lot of them. I generally not too worried about them because they don't do a lot of damage, but um, they, they tend to be pretty annoying. Um, but things like Leaf and his um, Meister Bogan, um, things like that. So there's a lot of stuff that can just double you and kill you. And the, what saves you in those situations is the Vantage. Um, but since Felicia doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, and she has a lot more bulk than a lot of other people like she has a lot of mage bulk um, If I can sort of like makes perfect when making tea. Okay, uh, if I can focus a lot on that um, Maybe she can do something, but I think like again, it goes back to the same thing um, She really just does need the broadleaf fan and it hasn't come back yet So I'm still kind of waiting for that whether it'll come back or not who knows um, I'm starting to like doubt it'll come back, but or maybe I missed it. I don't know I've been paying attention. I, I, I assume I've been paying attention. Um, but yeah, so when I get the Broadly fan, I think uh, a lot of this stuff will be okay, right? So I can switch this back to Vantage because Broadly fan will give me enough damage. Uh, here I can run something like basically anything at that point. I can run, I could keep this if I wanted to, uh, like a Brazen, drop a Brazen in there, or. Um, run something like another smoke, like an attack or a speed smoke. If anything, it would probably be a speed smoke. Uh, just because she has good speed, but she sometimes she gets outsped. Um, which you don't really want. Uh, though, the fact that, like, a speed, like, the, the problem being that speed smoke and attack smoke down here aren't too useful, because if you're running broadleaf fan, you, you just want to one-shot a lot of people. And, like, the speed doesn't matter, because you can advantage one-shot them, and the attack Decrease doesn't matter because you're not gonna you shouldn't be taking hits, right? You're gonna one shot advantage them again with the broadleaf fan um, But that, that, that's sort of the idea there um, But maybe having the, the attack like the attack smoke or the speed smoke are gonna be there just to add more debuffs to people so they're basically the, the fact that it's a dagger drops them by seven Each so that's already 14 damage on the broadleaf fan with another seven is another um, Is another seven so that's 21 um, I've been thinking about swapping this out for um, like attack smoke, so attack smoke and or just have two smokes down here basically to drop all their stats by um, by seven whenever she hits somebody. Uh, that charges the broadly fan to 28 plus whatever damage she's going to do on top of that. And uh, yeah, so that alone usually just tends to kill a lot of people, but I don't know, I have to really think about it, especially because I, if I'm running Tethys with Tamari dagger. She's already debuffing them by 5 on attack and speed, so that's 10 plus this is already, we're losing like 4 damage, so it's 24. Is it? Yeah, 24. 14 plus, yeah, 24. Um, so it's not that big a deal, uh, but, you know, the, the, the 4 damage might be, could cinch it in for, like, end up losing or winning. Um, but in any case, it's all kind of uh, a moot point, I guess, considering I'm very close to finishing, well, I say I'm very close, but uh, still quite a ways to go. Uh, finishing Kronia, now again, I do have, she's a plus 8, I do have the Grails to plus 10 her, I wonder if Talus is angry um, but there's, there's really no reason to plus 10 her right now, especially because, I mean, I could just wait till she comes back and maybe get another merge off of that, and then uh, maybe you know add just the, the last merge from the Grails, uh, just to see, I don't remember if you get 2 or 1, and I think it's, I'm pretty sure you just get 1 when they come back. Um, but in any case, take the one that she comes back with and then um, grail her, but like, I could just plus 9 her right now, but there's really no reason to considering I don't have the special spiral or the close counter. Um, that uh, New Year's Alphonse was like the best 
chance I had at getting that all like in one package, but as it is now, let's go here, compile. I'm just sort of like going off about nothing here, just because it was so short this time. As it is now, I can probably spend what two, fuck four thousand to get maybe close counter, and then just you know bite it until I can get enough to get the special spiral from here. There's another three thousand or four thousand. Um, but th that feels kind of like, like close counter feels like it's more available on more units. So I think I'm, I can just save the, the, the papers on here. Like the problem is they're on two different sets. So let's say I pull, I waste my papers and I, I pick up Xander and I get the close counter. What if I'm pulling or something and I randomly just pull another, um, I just pull a free, uh, close counter then I, I did that for nothing so I'm, it's a combination of waiting to see which one I get first and then I can just use papers for the other one um, but yeah so that's kind of where it is um, Kronia th this whole com compilation thing here is one of the best is one of the nicest additions especially like what makes Kronia such a good uh, CC Vantage unit for um, for Aether Raids is the fact that it's so free to play friendly like if you started a new account tomorrow, you can just, you know, you, you have in the back of your mind that you can, you need to save your grails to, to make sure you get the plus 10 on her. Um, and, you know, just save your papers and eventually you'll have, like, the close counter and the, um, the special spiral. So you can just start building towards that and there you go. Free to play, completely free to play, you have a, one of the, probably, I consider to be one of the better, you know, CC Vantage units in the game. Uh... The only reason I use Felicia is just because I like Felicia. Um, even though, I think, as we all know, she's, she's just the worst. Let's go take a look at this real quick. She's got... She, I'm using her on Light Season, um, which maybe I should switch her over to... Uh, to Asha Season, but uh, we'll see. Oh, look at that. 53 attack. She's got 5 more attack than her, and more speed. Oh, she's actually got this plus 3 here. Doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, when you plus three, when you plus ten her, these are kind of what her stats look like anyway. Um, but yeah, so like she's just really bad. She's not a very good choice to go for. Like even Kageto would be pretty good if you're uh, looking for a CC Vantage unit. Um, right, I think like choosing anybody other than Kronia is kind of like you're you're really going out of your way just to just to do that, which I wouldn't recommend. But yeah. You know. Play what uh, is interesting to do. I mean, hell, even uh, Cecilia is a good CC Vantage unit for uh, for Aether Raids. Though, I don't think you'd... I don't know if you'd run Vantage. If you look here, she's one of the first projects I had. She's only plus five. Just because I kind of stopped halfway through after I realized... Uh, it's not... She's not... like it, it, It's hard you, to, to go with someone like her. Um, so I give her a lot of skills. So she's got Bold Fighter, she's got Vengeful Fighter. I think... So what I think, for if you're using her like as a CC Vantage unit, you might just want to go like Vengeful Fighter and then change this to something. This is this was here because obviously Bold Fighter uh, synergizes pretty well with that. Um, but if you're doing like a CC Vantage Aether Raids thing, um, most of you, you're just going to be attacked most of the time. So I think you'd go with this, and like whether you go up there and just hit somebody, I mean, it's not that big a deal. You just gonna, you might kill one guy, uh, but just kind of like leave her there and let her get hit by everything, um, and have her run vengeful fighter. It feels to me like this is the best way to do it because you're gonna be attacked most. You're only gonna have one combat where you're gonna attack somebody, so the bold fighter basically just gets thrown away after that, and you know you just have to find a way to make sure she doesn't die. But uh, yeah, I think this is a pretty good build. Her biggest problem obviously comes down to her being an armor, like she gets just destroyed by anybody. Uh, Mikaias are on defense a lot of the times. Um, just general like, yeah, I mean basically Mikaia, lots of Mikaias. Um, but yeah, in general having uh, armor, uh, discard, having armor around isn't very useful. I, I use it in a lot of... Um, like PVE stuff, so this, this is usually how you use it because you do take multiple turns. It's like, oh, the turn's over, and then you go and attack someone. And Bullfighter does kind of come in very useful there. And then Quick Repost is here for Quick Repost things. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm sort of getting tangential there, and and, and that. Um, but yeah, that was uh, Aether Rage for this week. 
Um, hopefully next week uh, I can make it into tier 27 and not mess it up like I did last time where I forgot to attack once. Um, but yeah, so assuming everything goes right, next next week should be a lot better. But uh, yeah, that's it for that. <laughs>